I can't wait to show you the 12 different ways you can wear this fabulous bag. Hey guys, welcome back. First of all, happy 2018. Can't believe it's 2018 already. I hope you guys had a great time celebrating New Year's. Unfortunately for me, I felt a little bit sick. I'm not sure if you noticed my voice is still a little bit raspy, but I've been sick the last few days, but I'm much better now. So I wanted to film this video because I did say that I would do a review or a mini review and the different ways to style this beautiful Gabrielle bag. Now I asked you guys on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I would love for you to join my Instagram family as well. And this is my handle here. I asked you, were you interested in a first impression sort of video, but most importantly, the different ways that you can style this bag. So I was playing around and I actually came up with 12 different ways. If you are new here, my name is Mel. Welcome. This is going to be a really fun video, so I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't already, you can subscribe by clicking that red button and if you want to be notified every time I upload you just hit that bell button okay so I'm going to structure this video in four parts first part I'm just going to go through a quick overview of the bag tell you some of its features secondly I'm going to go through all the different ways the 12 ways to be exact you can wear this bag mod shots and just taking you through all those ways thirdly it's going to be a what fits in my bag because I feel that's really important and that gets requested quite quite a lot. And lastly, I'll be going through my first impressions of this bag. So what I like, what I don't like so far from having this bag for a couple of months. So let's get started. This bag is called the Gabrielle bag, but in actual fact, it's the Gabrielle line. This is the hobo version of the bag, but it does come like in a shopper tote. It comes in a backpack. It comes like in a drawstring bag as well. I bought mine in Paris in mid-November. If you haven't seen my Paris haul, I will link it up here. It's quite a massive haul, but I got this beauty there. Now this bag, it's a big deal for Chanel because it's the first big release since 2011 and that's when they released the boy bag. I'm not sure if you guys were aware, but this bag pays homage to Coco Chanel herself because her name is actually Gabrielle. For those of you that may not have been aware, Coco was actually her nickname. So the version I have here is the hobo version, as you can see from the shape, and it comes in three different sizes. Mine is the smallest. It also comes in a medium and then a larger style as well. So let's talk about the design of this bag. Now you guys know, for example, the reissue bag that was inspired by the past, but this Gabrielle bag is really inspired by the future. And from what I've researched, it said that it's actually inspired by virtual reality glasses and also vintage men's binoculars. And I see that sort of bit from the base of this bag. And I guess that really ties in with Coco Chanel's philosophy because did you know that all this quilting that was actually inspired by jockeys so Coco Chanel definitely drew a lot of inspiration from menswear. So in terms of the material it is in a distressed calfskin. Um, I think it's supposed to be similar to the reissue. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same but it is that distressed crumpled sort of calfskin so that's what is on the body of the bag and along this base bit it still looks slightly crumpled, like I'm not sure if you guys can see, you're probably not going to be able to see, but down the bottom, it is sort of, it's got still got a few lines through it, but it is smoother. So the base is smoother, whereas in this bit, you can see it is definitely very, very sort of creased and crumpled and distressed. So that is in crumpled calfskin. I'm not 100% sure of what the material is here. I assume it's calfskin. If you guys know otherwise, please comment and let me know. Okay, let's move on to the straps. Now, uh, the biggest and distinct feature about this bag is the tra straps. Firstly, it's tricolor. I love mixed metals, so this is amazing. So the strap in itself is I've got three different hardware colors, and it ranges from ruthenium to a, a shiny gold and also shiny silver. So on the strap as well, it's got a ruthenium stud there and also like a brush gold stud there. So the straps is a feature on its own. I'll talk about that a little bit later. 
That is the top of the bag. It is a zipper closure and you just zip it like this. Oh, I do want to show you. I did really like this zipper pull as well. It's got the CC and it's got this big tab here. The sides of the tab are also glazed as well. And if I open the bag up, as you can see, it is all lined in this bright red fabric interior. Yes, fabric. So like the boy bag, which is lined with fabric interior. So some people have criticized, oh, it should be leather lined for the price. But I guess with material, for me personally, I do think it's more practical and it definitely makes the bag lighter weight as well. So if we go to the inside of the bag, it has a zipper compartment here as well. So right there. And then also it has a little space here. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Um, for lipstick and then another compartment here. So if you have a smaller phone, like I don't think Yeah, so if you if you have a smaller phone you can fit that I just tried my iPhone 8 plus and no It's too big, but if you have a smaller phone you definitely can stand that upright in there and it also has this little uh, tab with a little attachment so you can hook on maybe keys or something like that there as well so I love that and we'll just close the bag up. Now, if we move to the base of the bag, there is no feet, as you can see. I wish it did have feet because I hate resting my bag, you know, on the floor. I usually have a spare seat for it. But anyway, no feet on the bag. And if you look at the base of the bag, it's sort of shaped in a gondola, I guess. And it is very rigid, as you can hear. See, I can knock on it. I don't know what the base is made from. If you guys know, do let me know in the comments below, but I'm not sure what it is made from, but it is very, very hard. If we go to the side of the bag, so this also has mixed metals. It's got, you know, a D-ring here. Actually, both of the chains are attached by a D-ring here. And then it's got another, this is in brushed gold. And then it's got this extra bit here. And I guess you can hang you know, bag charms or something off there if you want. But on this side, it just has, um, you know, the D-ring and that. So it doesn't have that extra D-ring if you want to tan bag embellishments. So that is what the bag looks like. Another thing about this bag is that this is the first sort of unisex bag that Chanel sort of launched. Now, if you remember back to the campaign, Pharrell Williams actually was wearing the large version of this bag. So I think it's the first time Chanel's ever included a male uh, in its campaign. And the first time they've included a male wearing like a Chanel bag, not in a campaign, but wearing a Chanel bag. So another feature of this bag is that it is unisex too. Okay, so let's start off with the first way that you can wear this bag. And so this is just the classic way, which is double strapped on the shoulder, as you can see here. This is the most common way probably people wear this bag, and it's just really comfortable. The second way to wear this bag is what I call the classic twist. So you start off with just double strapped and then you just twist the straps around each other till you get to the very top. And as you can see, it makes a beautiful strap feature and it's all twisted really nicely. So the third way to wear this bag is what I call the twist and hang. So I've twisted it three times as you can see in the video and then you just let the remaining chain just hang and it just makes it into a little feature. It shortens the strap when it's on the shoulder and I think it sits at a really good height. And that dangly bit of the chain on the bag just makes it a nice feature. The fourth way is what I call the long crossbody. It looks pretty long here but it was definitely worn like this in the campaign and you can definitely wear this if you're taller. The fifth way is what I call the long single shoulder strap. Now this is pretty long. It almost hits me at my knees. I think this is probably too long to wear this bag, but it's still definitely an option. And number six, this is the one that you see a lot on the bloggers and on the models. And this is the V. And as you can see, the V-shaped. So it's very easy to wear. I love wearing it this way personally. And I just think it looks really chic and it looks really different and modern for Chanel. So we come to number seven. Number seven is called the short crossbody and you just loop it back round and it just becomes a short crossbody bag. So that brings us to number eight, which I call the belt bag. So you start off in the V position, but the strap on your shoulder, you bring all the way around your head 
under your arm and then as you can see it becomes a belt kind of like a belt bag and then I've left the strap sort of on top of my jeans and yeah it just looks like a belt I really love the way how this looks so it's still really easy to access the bag in this position and I just think it looks really chic really modern and just yeah just a bit edgy so let's take us to number nine which is just called the clutch nothing much to it you just hold it like a clutch but the interesting one is if we come to number 10 and this is what I call the wrist wrap clutch this is a little bit more difficult and as you can see me in the video you have to put the strap and lay it flat on top of the bag can you see there so I've laid it flat then what I do is I grab the chain in the middle and then I take it and start looping it around my wrist so I've looped it around once, twice, three times. And then basically what you do is that you just hold the clutch. So it kind of looks like a bracelet. I guess the chain acts like a bracelet and then you just hold the clutch and it's just a different variation of wearing the bag. So the 11th way of wearing this bag is what I call the tri strap. So you start off in the V position and then you just take one of the chain, put your arm under it, and as you can see, voila, you can see three straps there. I think this looks very cool and very edgy as well. And if I turn to the back, you can see the tri strap back there. And then finally, the last way you can style this bag is what I call the cross backpack. So you just cross it, then you just wear it like a backpack. And if I turn it around, it's cr called the cross backpack because it's crossed at the back. So you know backpacks are all the rage, so this is just another cute way of wearing it. So what fits in the Gabrielle bag, this is in size small. So if I open it up there, as you can see, it's all material lined. This is an iPhone 8 Plus. It's the same as the 7 Plus in terms of size and I do have a hard case on there. So it fits in fine, but you do need to angle it slightly before you slide it in. And then I have got my LV mini pochette. I've got makeup in there, some pills. Just It's just used as a junk drawer. So I always carry that. And if you slide that in as well, that fits as well. So as you see, it's taken up most of the space already. And you do need to sort of like open this opening up a bit when you're fitting all these things in. Next up is my Chanel card case, which I use as a mini wallet. There's quite a few cards in there. I'm going to put that in this way. Next up is some mints that can go there. So that's how it's looking. It's looking pretty full. And this is my Bastia coin purse. I probably don't need that, but I'm just going to show you full capacity what this bag can fit. I'm going to put it in this pocket. This pocket here can also be used to house your phone if you have a smaller phone. And this one here can be used to put lipstick in, but I don't use that. But definitely does fit in lipstick. And then I've got some tissues. I'm going to put that in there. And then, of course, my keys. always need my keys to drive. So I'm just going to lay that flat there. So that is looking pretty full to me. Now, I wouldn't pack it this full normally, but you can also add in a sunglass case. This is just, you know, sunglasses in a soft case, and you can just lay that flat there as well. I'm going to put this back in there. This is the one where you can use to attach keys if you want, but I don't really use that. So I put that back in there, and then I zip it up. As you can see, it's not too bulgy. So that's what it looks like. The sides aren't too bulgy, but that is at full capacity. So as you can see, it may look small, but this cutie can fit quite a lot. Okay, so what are my thoughts on this bag? As you know, I've had it for nearly two months now, and I have used it a fair bit. So this is only my first impressions. Guys, this is not like a full-blown review. But I've used it enough to know what I like and what I don't like. So let's start off with the things that I like about this bag. First and foremost is versatility. You see, like, there's 12 different ways to wear this bag. So I just think you can wear this bag dressed up. You can wear this bag dressed down. It just looks good with jeans and sneakers, but it can also look really, really nice with a dress as well. And I find it quite, I mean, it is a mixture of that. If you think about it, the body of this bag is sort of soft, so it's a bit more cash. And then the bottom of this bag is, like, hard, so it's a bit more rigid. So it's like a mix of, like, casual and formal. But 
Overall, I would say the vibe is still probably a little bit more casual, but I just love how versatile it is and, you know, all the different ways you wear it. You can just style it with so many different outfits and I just think it makes the bag look different each time. And tying in with the versatility is the straps of the bag. I think that is like a major plus for me. I personally love the how it's tri-colored and it's got all the different metals. I mean, I don't mind mixing metals, but some people are like, oh, you know, I've got gold. Gold. I've got to make sure I carry a bag that's got gold hardware and it's silver and so forth. But with this bag, you wear gold, you wear silver, everything's going to match because the chain has got like the three different colors. So that makes it super versatile as well. Second thing I really like about this bag is the material. Because it is in an aged calfskin or a distressed calfskin, I don't need to worry about scratches at all because the look of this bag, I mean, it's got creases everywhere anyway. So even if the bag does get more crumpled, I don't mind at all. So I love this. I love this material on the reissue bag as well. So that is definitely a plus for me. And thirdly, what I like about this bag is that I find it relatively lightweight because the inside is material lined and not leather. It doesn't make the bag heavy. I've also used the bag all day and it doesn't like dig into my shoulders. And as I mentioned before, because of the straps, if I'm wearing it like sort of crossbody and then I want to change it up and I want to wear it on my shoulders, I just don't find that it digs in. I don't know, maybe because the chains are thinner, I'm not sure, but it just, it doesn't hurt my shoulders. So that's always a good thing. So what are some of the things that I dislike about the bag? So as much as I love the chain, sometimes it does get a little bit annoying because it can get tangled. Like if you are just wearing the bag, like, you know, you're changing up the different ways you want to wear it. You do need to sort of like adjust it. Like right now it is, see how it's a little bit tangled. I just have to make sure like I untangle it. Okay. It's not hard. See, I've got to, hold on one second. I'm gonna untangle it now for you guys. But I just need to make sure. Okay, so that's better. So now that is straight. Before, it was sort of tangled because it can kind of get looped up. You know, if you're resting it down on something and then you just quickly grab it, it can get slightly tangled. But it's not that difficult to untangle, but sometimes it is a little bit annoying when it does get a little bit tangled. Another little annoying part is that in terms of this shoulder strap, depending on how I wear it, this bit can stick out sometimes. Like I just have to make sure that when I wear it, it's sort of down this way. Sometimes when I wear it like in a V shape or things like that, I just have to adjust it slightly. So, I mean, it's not really a con, but this sort of sticks out. I don't adjust the position of this, whatever it's sort of at, I just leave it that way. So, I mean, you can definitely adjust this, but this strap does stick out sometimes as well. And then lastly, I do need to mention that with this base, I do foresee in the future, I haven't been careful with this bag at all, and I was looking at it really, really closely. There isn't any scratches on the bag or anything, but I did see a very, very, very little dent on the base because as I mentioned before, it's like rock solid. If you bump into something, it's probably gonna get dented. But like I said, a pro of this bag is because it's in that crumpled sort of leather and even the base, even though it's smooth, it's still got all kind of like lines through it. You can't tell. So I had to really search and I'm like, okay, there is the really minute dent. So I think a con will be that I do think that it will probably get more dense in the future. I also wanted to address a question that I've been asked a couple of times on this bag, and it's not a pro or a con for me, but I thought I would mention it. So in terms of the zipper closure, the opening is quite small, so you do need to sort of like pull it open. It's similar to like the Lady Dior, but it's not as hard, in my opinion, to sort of get in and out of. I sort of got asked, oh, is it really, is the opening really tight? Look, you do need to like pull it open, but when I put my hands in and out, it's not like these metal sort of claws scratch my hands or it hasn't scratched any of the items I've put in there. But look, it's not as like, for example, like an open top tote or anything like that. It's not as easy to get in and out of but to me that's not a con i know some people think the opening especially on this small size is a little bit restrictive on the medium and on the large maybe not so much so but i just did want to mention for me the opening isn't a problem 
So overall, guys, I do really like this bag. I have mentioned in previous videos and especially in my, um, my unboxing that this bag definitely grew on me. Like I think it came out last year, like February or March, and I went to check it out pretty early on. And I was like, I'm in an R ring because I was like many of you when I saw this bag, I was like, oh, not sure about that bag I kind of think it's ugly but it just grew and grew and grew on me and each time I tried it on I just loved it more so it did take me a while to fall in love with this bag but after using it I really love it for those of you that are not sure go into store and try it on I mean this bag I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon they just keep coming out with different color combinations I mean there's the all black there's like metallic like or the gold one like I have and then there's mixed as well the other one that I really wanted which was really nice was the white tweed with the black base I love the beige and black as well I mean they've got bi colors they've got material I just think they're going to come up with a lot of different versions of this bag so overall I am really glad that I added it to my collection plus I think it's quite modern it's really unique and it's very different to all my other Chanel bags and as you guys know my Chanel collection is pretty classic I did do a collection video quite a while back but I will link it up if you guys were interested but yeah most of my Chanel bags is you know classic flaps or boys so this really adds something different to my Chanel collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and just my first impressions of this bag. But most of all, you enjoyed the 12 different ways you can wear it. No Chanel officially sort of said there are seven ways to wear this bag, but I just had so much fun sort of playing around with it. For those of you that own this bag, if there was one style that I didn't mention, please comment below. Or if you don't have this bag, out of all the 12 different rays, which was your favorite? Comment below to let me know. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all your support. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really means so much to me. Whenever you see thumbs up and really a lot of comments, honestly, guys, it I, I can't tell you how grateful I am. So have a wonderful day or night and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.